Oh, good Saturday morning. Because it is. It's 10.30 and it's already in the 60s. We got a mess going on in front of the shop here. But I can clean all this up with the loader. Ooh, I just blew all of this off. Got all the chaff and shit off the back of the combine. So that this is ready to be washed. Because it's nasty looking. The supervisor's doing what he does best. Hanging out on the lawn there sleeping in the sun the friend who's a boy is over there washing the combine started washing it last night but got dark daylight savings time gotta love it you know won't be long around here it'll be dark at 4 30. sucks and their bs about how they did it years ago for the farmers no I'd say 95% of farmers you talk to say, leave it alone. But anyways, <coughs> I got this all oiled up with my spray oil can thing there that I was telling you about. It's like a fire extinguisher. So I oiled all the chains up. These newer heads don't have the grease fittings on them. That's probably so they can sell you more parts. So, yes, I get oil splattered on the bottom of the poly there, but it doesn't hurt anything. So, Barb was just over here to help me get it backed in. And for those of you who are mathematicians and scientists and whatnot, yes, we had to lift the tongue up really high and swing it that way to get it to be over there. But So, I've got this room left between the two heads here in front of the, the grain drill. I'm thinking when I'm done chopping corn stalks, cause I probably will do some more when that's folded up. That and the 7230 probably can back right in here and park that here for the winter. So basically we've figured out a way to get everything put away other than the chisel plow which sits down there but they're supposed to be coming and getting that because my new one is in and actually i'm surprised they didn't bring it this week as nice as it's been because i wrote them a check on monday but anyways probably bring it when the weather's crappy and the disc which will be going underneath the corn crib so it'll be under cover just not completely four-sided cover but, so we are making progress getting things cleaned up and put away for the winter while the weather's 70 degrees. Make this equipment too tall today. So I got the friend who's a boy in the bucket tractor, in the bucket, lifting him up so he can wash off the top part of the combine. Because it does make it easier get up there makes it easier to get the top of the bin the roof everything rather than try and climb around up there so we're getting there we're on to the outer part of it now yes yeah, so I'll have to swing that auger out and have them wash the inside part of it too when I when we get done doing all this now we're washing off shields. And that'll be the last thing. And of course, when this dries off, there'll probably be some dirt streaks here and there because as I said in a video quite a while ago, anybody that thinks they can clean something perfectly clean, please come wash my stuff up in the fall or after spring work when we're done with those implements because you never get them looking perfectly clean but that looks pretty spiffy to me so we got it pretty damn clean and this is why some of you say that we run all new equipment no we don't this is why some of our equipment that's now this is a 2016 so it's not that old but this is why some of our equipment that's 10 to 15 years old still looks fairly new because we spend the hours of cleaning it when we're done using it. 
before we put it away and this will get greased after it drips off for a while in the sun and being at 70 we'll grease it all up and either put it away later this afternoon or tomorrow morning all right just finished greasing the combine putting shields back on that just ticks you off when it gets clean and then it dries up and you see a little bit of dirt might give it another quick rinse in a few spots definitely gonna hit the shields that we put back on with a little water one more time the child and the friend who's a boy are working on cleaning the combine or yeah combine the tractor grain cart up and i am taking the bucket tractor back over to clean up the mess in front of the shop and then take the trucks over there and open both doors on each side and blow out all the bees wings and nasty stuff they got in the cabs of those to keep the mice out look she's just exhausted no, I'm not. from struggling to try and get back out of the grain buggy once she got in it I, I did. I struggled a lot. combine away for winter cart away for winter 8235 away for winter got our our cab freshes and everything i got some uh yeah what am i thinking of the little white moth mothballs mothballs mental problem there thinking of what mothballs were but i gotta go get some more so basically from right here where we shut the curtains for heat back we pretty much have everything packed away i'll have to get the grill off the back deck probably park that in there the other lawnmower when it comes back um i think that's it i'm gonna have to call on the other lawnmower generator i obviously leave up front during the winter in case we have power go off i brought my table and chairs up here for muzzleloader season when we get together as a group and barb makes us some food i saved that tractor inner tube tire that's that 50. i'm gonna try and blow it up this winter see what kind of experience chelsea can have sliding downhill up back so 6420s washed ready to be put away trucks are washed ready to be put away we're pretty much getting there tomorrow will be clean the dryer day that sucks almost as much as the combine. I wish I had filmed it, but unfortunately I wasn't over there. Chelsea crawled into the grain cart to clean the inside out. Yeah, she couldn't get out. Skylar had to help her out. Skylar, by the way, is the friend who's a boy. All right, Chelsea and the friend who's a boy are still over there washing on the terror disc. I see he's doing it now, so she must have gave up, but... So when that's washed up, I'll be parking it. Where am I pointing? Underneath the corn crib facing one way. And when the chisel plow shows up, I'll be parking that facing the other way. I'm a little shaky today because I'm using my phone. <coughs> I forgot to charge the GoPro. The supervisor, he's just, here, let me unzoom you now. He's not feeling so good, but he's having a rough day. That hip dysplasia stuff that labs get yeah he's been limping around here not putting much weight on his left hind leg so we started giving him some low dose aspirin wrapped up in a piece of cheese again it usually works for him within a week but then again buddy's gonna be 12 in february so yeah we'll see but hopefully bud sticks around for a while fueled up the gator because our deer season actually crossbow is open right now our gun season opens on the 21st two weeks from yesterday as i showed you in the last video things are put away combines there for the winter carts there for the winter corn head you can see where am i pointing back there put away for the winter so dryer's clean we are getting there so all I need to do is wait for the new chisel plow to show up so I can get that underneath there. Yes, I told the neighbor he need to find a new home for his, his camper, which he's just going to leave it up to his house. 
he didn't seem too distraught about it but so everything is just about buttoned up and ready for winter so and is anybody else still depressed about the election because i am i know it's i know i know our wonderful fake news have already as of today when i'm doing this yesterday i think it was they declared trump or excuse me biden the president so and then last night biden and harris came on tv and wasn't it kind of unique that she come on first and gave us her five or ten minutes of BS and then Stumbling Joe came on? I don't know. I still say I don't get it. It looks like we're going to pick up seats in the House. Unless they cheat, the Republicans are still going to keep the Senate. Trump got like seven million more votes than he got in 2016 against Hillary. But yet... Biden got almost 9 million more votes than the savior himself, Barack Obama. As Joe says, come on, man. But the part that bothers me is when they quit counting at like 9 o'clock at night, and then at 3 or 4 in the morning, there's a 170, 80,000 vote dump that are all Biden. Not one, not one is for Trump. Again, come on, man. I know this is going to go to the courts, but I don't think this is like Gore versus Bush. Uh, the hanging chads, for those of you that remember. I just, I don't think the courts are going to do anything. I think this is the end of our fair election system, if you want to call it that. I mean, from this point forward, it's just who cheats the most is going to get it. And this country is so divided right now. But we need to at least keep the Senate because that will at least block a lot of this socialism crap that they want to bring in. But I don't know. It's sickening. But maybe that's why Buddy doesn't feel good. Buddy's a Trump fan too. But all right, I'm just going to end this video, make it a short one. And the kids ought to be done washing that thing up pretty quick. So. Give me a thumbs up, everybody. Where's my thumb? There it is. We need more thumbs up. We haven't had a video yet, I think. Lately, I should say. Not yet, but lately. That hasn't had 200, that has had 200 thumbs up. So let's get 200 thumbs up in this next video. So if you like what we're doing, subscribe. If you don't, well, I'm sorry. But we'll see you in the next one. Oh, one more quick thing. So, oh yeah, and I got my Mike P7810 shirt on today. But about the election, if you noticed, even though Trump is basically being screwed right now, that the conservatives aren't out there burning cities down, like BLM and Antifa and all them do, you know, when they don't get their way. No, you don't see that happening. But... The silent majority has to stop being silent because you know the old saying, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. And these young kids today, especially being indoctrinated into our school systems, our liberal school systems, they're believing everything they hear. But, and one thing to think about, if Trump got seven, seven or 7.5 million more votes and Biden got the most votes of any president in history. The guy couldn't get 100 people to show up to a rally. But he got the most votes in history. Almost 9 million more than the savior, Obama. Is there that many people that have been registered, new people, registered to vote since 2012? Maybe that's where we should start. I mean, I've heard rumors that Wisconsin had 130,000 more people vote than they have on their voting rolls. If that's true, we got an issue. But, you know, maybe we should check and see, is there really 15, 16, 17 million more people voting today than there was eight years ago or, or registered today? I don't know. I'll stop now. I'm just so sick of this whole election thing.